So hello everybody, uh, what exciting times. Uh, I just wanted to give another market update. Um, first of all, thank you to all followers of Karasar. Uh, as you probably know, Karasar uh, moved uh, above 6 million uh, euro assets following strategy. Dropped a bit below it now, but uh, we're doing very well. Um, yeah, now at 5.86, but uh, amazing times, amazing growth, uh, performance of over 740% past year uh, outperforming Bitcoin uh, by a very large margin right now so that's very exciting um, and thank you very much to all followers I will do my best to uh, to give good returns and do my best to this bull market um, of course no guarantees please don't invest more than you can afford to lose um, also this video is not investment advice this is my personal opinion I'm just sharing my thoughts and my strategy please do your own due diligence on anything um, Yes, so I just wanted to give an update on general views of the strategy uh, on the markets and my thoughts on it. So here we go. Um, first of all, uh, when I slept this night, uh, Bitcoin broke 50K truly as it seems now. Um, if you go to the four hour, it's bouncing a bit, but we seem to be clear and clear above 50K, um, which also resulted in some altcoins getting sold off quite quite hard actually uh, well not hard but 10% uh, especially Luna hurt me a little bit because I was pretty long Luna and yeah it get a, got a good correction uh, but that's fine I mean Bitcoin that happens when Bitcoin moves hard um, what happens I think is that people see Bitcoin moving so a lot of people holding altcoins on exchanges simply just market sell their altcoins for Bitcoin because they want to join the train which makes sense a little bit. It's, it's also a little bit of chase, chasing candles, so it's probably not the best trading strategy, but yeah, many people do, which creates a lot of sell pressure for every altcoin basically, um, which causes Bitcoin to go up more and all altcoins to correct uh, when Bitcoin moves big. So as you can see here, uh, the Bitcoin dominance chart, Bitcoin moved up a little bit, not even that much to be honest. Uh, so if we zoom out here, the Bitcoin dominance chart it's fine, right? Uh, we're still ranging above 60 a little bit. Uh, the last month was great because of this drop for Karasar. Uh, I'm more focused on DeFi and altcoins. So yeah, well, if this dominance chart drops and Bitcoin doesn't crash, that's a good sign. So if you look, if you go back all the way, let's zoom out a little bit more. Let's do to a weekly candle. Uh, this big drop here is 2017, 18. So this is the, the first bull run, right, of the big crypto markets. But do realize crypto is way bigger now. Uh, Bitcoin is a lot bigger. So a small move, percentage move here is way more money. So if we even get half of this drop or less even, if we, let's say we drop down to 55% dominance, that would be for altcoins a huge, huge, huge market. So um, I'm not sure if that will happen, of course. Maybe Bitcoin will be the winner simply and all the money will flow to Bitcoin. I do think since we have seen this past month, um, I'm not too convinced of that one. I've, I have seen a lot of potential and a lot of DeFi, a lot of other projects, uh, interoperability projects like Cosmos and Polkadot, and there's so much coming. So I, I, as long as the bull market remains, like the, the sentiment is, stays positive, I think altcoins will outperform Bitcoin. But short term, uh, for now, uh, Bitcoin is clearly on the move. Um, it's above 50k let's see if we hold this for now but if we move cleanly above it well sky's the limit right uh, uh, the banks are coming you all read the news uh, all big banks investors uh, the, the big hedge funds they're all getting into bitcoin or they are in bitcoin already uh, my sentiment is they did not invest in bitcoin to sell quickly a lot of these large investors are are for the long run. They're they're using Bitcoin now as a hedge, as a safe exit for for inflation, for just to protect their f their fiat money. Um, because fiat money doesn't give any returns these days. Uh, you're paying money if you keep money on the bank. It's a very weird time. We have negative interest rates, which is unprecedented. So it's actually the perfect storm for something like bitcoin so it could move a lot I, I have no idea and i don't know of course not but it's a good bet um but even still i think other coins and other projects could do better and that's my strategy also but for now as long as bitcoin is moving fast and quick uh i've decided to move uh 48 from karasar 
into Bitcoin now, so or 46, sorry, 46%, so about half or a little bit less than half. I still have the 10% dollar position as well, just to buy in um, should there be a big correction uh, and also add to it slowly if we move up again. Uh, actually, the past week has been, well, I almost am scared to say it, a little bit boring, but well, it's fine. Um, we moved up, just zoom out, we moved up 750%, which is just... I, I'm, it's, it's better than I even hoped for, uh, 740%. And now we're ranging, right? We're, we're just leveling here. So, I mean, usually when you see really big gains, really big moves, you go like this, up and down. But for now, no, we're, we're just hanging around here. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable now with the Bitcoin position. Let's keep it like this as, as, until we see Bitcoin calm down and altcoins recover. But it's actually showing already a little bit of a bounce, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, so that's the strategy for now. Uh, let's stay diversified, uh, focused on solid projects that I really like, Oasis, Terra, Cosmos. Um, I'm not gonna panic too much about smaller moves of 10%, because yeah, it's a li liquid market. Crypto is small. If Bitcoin moves big, altcoins move down hard, um, but it's only temporary probably, because the Bitcoin move up will attract more money more new investors and a lot of that money will flow down to altcoins that's that's not even a theory anymore that's just proven money flows to bitcoin first then to the big other projects like like uh, ethereum and after that it flows to the altcoins as long as sentiment is positive okay so let's look a little, little bit of charts um this is from the block research uh i'm just gonna scroll through it but the trends are so good this is the number of active addresses on bitcoin as you can see if, since this since the start right or since 2017 it's going up with a really steady flow so there, there are a lot of new addresses doesn't mean new users but at least it's an indication that the network is growing there are more addresses so there, there's more demand a new address on the bitcoin network is going up even quicker and this was the top of the bull run right and what i like to see here is this this was a clearly a hype right the the, the, the addresses just exploded they doubled in like a week now it's it's an uptrend but it's not an explosion up yet so that could be a signal that there's not maximum hype yet not not sure but it's good uh on-chain volume well phew, wow we're going up uh, over all-time high way above for bitcoin huh? um so that's that's a good sign as well we, we actually peaked crashed back and now recovered again that's also pretty impressive bitcoin miners are getting very rich um so yeah, that's good. And the hash rate, of course, for Bitcoin is all time high. And something about DeFi value locked, as you can see, uh, the money locked inside DeFi is growing as well. Uh, this is a little bit more of a bubbly area, probably. On the other hand, DeFi is very young. It's tiny compared to the entire crypto markets. If some of the big players and big investors are starting to use DeFi a little, it's gonna grow, it's gonna can grow way more. Um, so it's, it still has huge potential. The, the trend is up, as you can see, value locked by DeFi projects for Uniswap and Maker and Curve and the others. As you can see, the big market one is 16 others. The, 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 actually, the, the combined position of other DeFi projects is growing quickly as well. Uh, value locked in decentralized exchanges is going up, which is a good, good trend in my opinion. Lending is becoming a big market. So, well, all the charts are going up, basically. So that's, and this is not price charts, this is use charts and trends so that's pretty good um a bit of a hype website but still nice to see uh, is this one uh is it <laughs> altcoin season yet from blockchain center um and as you can see we have kind of an alt season a little bit already um which means simply that altcoins are outperforming bitcoin um so the past 90 days and i'm not that interested in that one um or actually i am uh, 90 days so yeah which coins have been outperforming uh, the, the Bitcoin, right? Because that's our goal, outperform Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the best performing asset in this generation. Um, and as a crypto fund, if you don't outperform Bitcoin, well, people should just buy Bitcoin, right? Uh, I don't see why you would have a crypto strategy or crypto fund if you're not outperforming Bitcoin. Well, we can see here a few of the coins that we hold, like Luna um, did very well. It's one of the best performers. Um, so that's nice. Uh, Atom here, uh, Maker did well, 
so, so we have a few coins there that, that helped us greatly outperform Bitcoin for the past 90 days. And the past 30 days, uh, way more even. Uh, and you can see Luna did best. So we, we were happy with our Luna position. Uh, that was a great move. Uh, Atom do, is doing great. Uh, a lot of I, uh, DeFi projects are doing great. So once we see this list grow and grow and grow, that will mean there's altcoin season, right? That the altcoins are structurally outperforming Bitcoin. But even then, Bitcoin is doing 40%. So it's amazing, right? We're having amazing times. Um, crypto is in a starting to get in a bubble or maybe even is in a bubble already. Um, but arguably, so is the stock market. So is the general world. There's strange thing happening. So let's ride it. Let's see how far we can go. I'll slowly move into dollars and into Bitcoin as we go up. That's the plan. Um, and just an indication, um, Secrets of Crypto is a Twitter uh, crypto person. He's pretty famous. And maybe traditional investors will say this is simplistic. This is wishful thinking. This is in big part my strategy a little bit. Uh, and I think this has been proven time and time again. Uh, the money flows from Bitcoin to Ethereum to large cap cryptos to alt season and then we, we repeat again and after this we get a crash of course so uh, this is an interesting thing and and it's not the only thing i focus on i try to focus on on mostly on on good projects with actual use case which actual adoption uh DeFi projects that are actually being used that's important but for riding the wave basically and trying to figure out where are we in the process of, of the of the bull market this is pretty interesting. Uh, he has another one, uh, the crowd flow. It's pretty, I think this is just true. Um, in the bear market, nobody wants it. Nobody was buying into crypto, even in Carosar, and I couldn't get any investors. Uh, and then Bitcoin makes a big move. Suddenly the money flows to Bitcoin. Out goes do go down compared to Bitcoin. That's what's happening right now a little bit last night. As Bitcoin stops a bit, we can either get uh, altcoins so it can flow here and we can get the altcoin season in this this area and after a while it drops back and we should see bitcoin go down a little bit and we get a bear market so that's an interesting one so uh, the plan for now uh, i'm getting a close eye on bitcoin uh, what it's going to do um, if it keeps going up hard uh, I'll, I'll stay uh, for a big part in bitcoin because well Bitcoin moves, the rest just doesn't do that much. Uh, but if it calms down and if it levels off and I see uh, the Bitcoin dominance drop again and altcoins moving, well, I'll move down into the altcoins. And every move up, I'll slowly move to US dollar and more Bitcoin relatively. So that's, that's in general the plan. Uh, let's see if I can protect the gains and grow the gains. Let's hope so. Uh, and I'll do my best to, to exit the markets when, when it's needed when there's a real top or real panic. Uh, we'll see. For now, I don't see that moment uh, really that yet. So thank you for, uh, for your time and thank you for following Carsar.